It's Tuesday. I am home today. Yesterday I played golf, which was so much fun, but I am staying home today. Got some chores to do and work on around the house. I was gonna work on my office, cleaning it out, and work on cleaning out our attic. We got so much junk, so in order to prep for a yard sale, someone's gotta get up in that attic and uh, clean it out. So I'm gonna do some chores today and then hopefully build in some time to relax on the couch, try to do a rewatch of all the Harry Potter movies and all the Lord of the Rings movies while I'm off here and there. So uh, hopefully uh, I'll watch probably the first Harry Potter and some of the special features today. I got those on Blu-ray, but they're also on HBO Max. So that is what my day looks like so far. I'm super, super sore from yesterday playing golf all day. My back is killing me. Uh, I guess I'm not, obviously my body's not used to swinging a golf club several hundred times, so. All right, so I am gonna get up in my attic and see what kind of stuff I can go through and clean out and get ready, ready for a yard sale or to throw away. So my attic is pretty nuts. That's why I'm still like not showered and wearing like workout clothes and stuff because I'm gonna get up there and probably sweat a bit, a bunch. All right, so this is up in my attic. It is quite packed up here. Um, this is like a bunch of home stuff that we've got over here that I gotta go all through. I've already started going through like our luggage and stuff. We have so much extra luggage. So everything I'm already starting to move to bring downstairs and put in the attic. I mean, sorry, put in the yard sale pile. And you come over here. This is all just like holiday decorations. Christmas, fall, Halloween, winter time, spring, spring time. All that's gotta go probably. We're gonna get rid of a bunch of this kind of stuff. Either that or give it back to my parents. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all this done today, but I'm gonna try and get a big chunk of it done. So that there, so this is cleaned out up here. This was an extra thing we paid to have done in our attic, by the way, this flooring like this, where it's all decked out all the way across so that we would have all this storage because we knew good and well we had Plenty of junk, so, and a regular build of this uh, model that we have, um, it would have just had this one little spot right here in front of the, uh, whatever, heating unit or whatever in the world, air duct stuff. So there wouldn't have been enough space for us to have all of our <laughs> junk up here. So, I mean, I'm happy I did, we built it like this because we always need the space, but if we were to ever sell our house, I feel like this would be a, a good selling point almost, you know, be like, hey, there's plenty of storage in this house. Whew, it gets hot quick up in that attic. It's only 10 a.m. I'm already sweating to death, hauling stuff down out of there. Just junk that I've accumulated <laughs> over my time that I just don't need. I have boxes and boxes of VHS tapes that I bought on eBay like 10 plus years ago that in my mind I was like, well, I'll convert all these and find some cool old commercials or something like that. No, I, I don't need any of this junk. So a lot of that's what I'm hauling out and then just old stuff we don't need anymore. But it gets hot fast. When I was first starting about an hour and a half, two hours ago, it wasn't as hot up there, but as the day keeps going, it gets hot up there really fast. Wish I would've done this in like the winter when it's not very hot at all. All right, it's been two hours that I've been working in the attic. I think that's all in the attic I'm gonna do today. I got it kind of organized. Um, there's a couple of big totes that it's filled with a bunch of Kayla's old stuff that I was gonna haul down and just leave in our bonus room for her to go through, but uh, I'll probably do that a, another day. Um, but I hauled down a bunch of my junk that I now have to go through. Most of this is gonna be yard sale. Like this is just a box of cords and old cameras and stuff. And then these are all VHS tapes that I bought off of eBay. So I'm pretty sure all those are gonna be yard sale. So now I'm gonna work in my office for a little while. Um, my office is still a disaster look, looking zone. This has just been my attempt so far to clean out all this junk in my life. So it's going to keep looking like a disaster until I can get everything purged out and done. And then it'll look clean in here again. But who knows when that'll be because I still got a ton of stuff in the attic. But all I got left in the attic really is Kayla's got a couple of boxes and totes of just super old stuff that most likely is going to be throwaway probably and then some yard sale stuff and then we have a whole pile of like stuff from our wedding like a bunch of decorations and a bunch of stuff from our wedding I'm like do we really need all this stuff from our wedding 
And then we got luggage that we're keeping, so that's gonna stay up in the attic. And we have a ton of holiday stuff like I showed that we're gonna have to go through uh, and figure out what are we gonna keep and not keep. And then I need to order, I need to order some of those real fancy or nicer um, ornament Tupperware things or whatever that you can put them in there in these little compartments. So that uh, that way, I like our very nice ornaments are like actually stored properly right now. They're just kind of all thrown into one big tub. That's not very smart of us if we ever want to like, you know, keep them forever kind of thing. So that's another thing I, I got to do is go through all the Christmas and holiday stuff. But that's not going to be today. I'm going to work in my office some today and then probably take it easy. I think I'm going to watch the first Harry Potter movie this afternoon. Shower, of course, and then get curled up on the couch with the dogs and watch the first Harry Potter movie and all the behind the scenes stuff. I really enjoy doing that. And when I have time off like this and Kayla didn't really like the Harry Potter movie, so I'm going to take advantage of it and rewatch all of those and all the special features and all that. So definitely looking forward to that, but I got to earn it first. Got to do work to earn it. All right. I'm all cleaned up. I kept doing a little bit more work in my office, going through some of this stuff, trying to get, the attic, the office, everything all cleaned out and everything, but um, I then took a shower and got clean, and now it's almost one o'clock already. The day just flies by, even though it's like, you know, I'm not working, working. I'm off, but the day just flies. So I'm uh, just now about to eat some lunch, and I'm gonna sit down and watch the uh, first Harry Potter movie, followed by all the special features. I got all the weird, crazy extended Blu-rays, so. I'm gonna watch all the weird documentaries and behind the scenes stuff because I love doing that. And I don't get this much time off that often, especially by myself, I'm usually off with Kayla. So I am gonna watch um, some stuff that I enjoy and that's what we're about to do. Me and the dog's gonna get curled up on the couch. Right girls? You already over there waiting on me, Peanut? Daddy, can we get on the couch? All right, I watched the first Harry Potter movie. I uh, started watching some of the special features, but it's already 4.30, and Kayla got off a little early, so we're going to go on our walk whenever she gets home, but I'm going to go ahead and prep some dinner. We're making this fajita chicken bake or something, so I've got to slice up some uh, bell peppers, got my two bell peppers, and an onion. So I'm going to go ahead and get that sliced up and prepped for dinner. Tonight in Kayla's kitchen, we're making this baked fajita chicken. Kayla is currently mixing up salsa, cream cheese, and fajita seasoning that we will then top on top of this chicken. And then we'll put our onions and bell peppers on top of that, and then cheese, and you put it in the oven for like 20 or 30 minutes, and voila, fajitas. Do we uh, add more cheese to it later? Um, I mean, you always can, but it says it's good to top it with cheese now. Okay. All right, so this is what it looks like when you get the sauce and the vegetables on top, and you just put a little cheese on there. Looks good. Chef Kayla over here. Hey. She's the head chef in this kitchen. Do you think that's good? Yeah. It looks like it. I mean, it's making a bunch. I'm out. It's more bigger than I thought. I, when I got this pan out, I was like, there's no way this pan's uh, going to be too... It looks like a casserole or something. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> we just made a big old casserole. What? It's going to be good, though. All right, we're going to throw it in the oven. It says 20 to 35 minutes. How long do you want me to the timer? Give it at least 30. Ice cream, cream time. Wax. Thank God I didn't lose an ear. I can only imagine what you do with that. I did it all for you. <sighs> all right. Tuesday night has come to a close. We had our good fajita um, bake, whatever that was. It was pretty good. A couple things we might tweak on it if we make it again. Um, and then what did we do? We watched started a new show we started watching six feet under which um we had never watched before so we started watching that. i think we watched first two and a half uh episodes it's pretty good um we'll see if we stick with it we've been in search of a new show to kind of kind of watch and you know kayla's kind of picky here and there with some of the shows so i've tried to get us started on like sopranos or boardwalk empire or a couple other things and sometimes she's just not all the way into some of those other shows. So, um, so far she likes Six Feet Under. So we watched some of that and then fell asleep. Well, she fell asleep on the couch. So I watched a couple episodes of Anthony Bourdain 
and now it's bedtime. It's a little past midnight, so gotta get to bed so we can get up early and get and get going on our Wednesday. So we're gonna end it here. See you tomorrow.